So I think one of the videos I'm responding to is, can you trust Tolarian Community College reviews? And this is a video Tolarian Community College made after he sold a million or $2 million of a box. And congratulations on that box. It's a lot better than just people giving you money. At least you have a product now that you can sell, kind of like a business. And my biggest criticism on Tolarian Community College is, I have three big criticisms, okay? Number one, the monthly magic box. I saw how he dealt with that. Now the videos have been privated or deleted, but he used to get a free box from this company, which at the time, uh, in the very beginning, he did not know it was being operated from jail until I told him this. And then I provided all the proof in a private Facebook group that we're no longer any part of, but we all used to be part of a Facebook group together it was a private Facebook group and people were talking about the monthly magic box and subscribers not getting it because it was not being operated from a literal jail. The guy was in jail while operating this company. So sometimes he couldn't get the product out and he would only get the product out to his influencers, if you will, the people who would be promoting it to their subscribers. I told him this, he was very concerned. I came out with my video and then they were really upset about my video, him and his best friend, the Manosaurus which is the primary reason I do not trust them. You can tell who someone is by their friends. So that's number one, the monthly magic box. Pico Trade was number two. The dude loved Pico Trade. He breathed Pico Trade. He tweeted about Pico Trade. And Pico Trade, in my opinion, was a scam from the very beginning until the very end. Uh, I can prove it to you, actually. So Pico Trade paid its content writers in Pico Points. They paid the community moderators in Pico Points. Everyone paid in Pico points, Wedge, and you can look at their accounts and you can see that Wedge emptied his account before he made a video. And he worked with Tolera Community College to drop their videos back to back. They dropped like a, a week apart, but they knew about, hey, Tolera said to Wedge, hey, I'm going to produce a video, about, very negative about Pico Trade, and Wedge said, yeah, I'm producing one too. And they dropped them very close together. That way they both seemed like they were not accountable for all these subscribers they brought onto the platform. And lastly, Wedge, which I can tell you, the dude took half a million dollars and he left the country. Like he literally left the country. I mean, you can't even make this story up. Wedge was a unhealthy individual who continued to injure himself. He would not live a healthy lifestyle, even though many people urged him to do so. People asked him to exercise. He was always tweeting about ridiculous. This is like the typical wedge. It was a typical scam. He would tweet about pit bulls, right? And how pit bulls are the best animal and they're the best dog ever. And I offered him, if you can watch my old videos, a thousand dollars to you know donate or to adopt a pit bull. And then he would get exercise and then a thousand dollars to go to training and medical fees. He never took me up on that offer but he kept talking about pit bulls all the time. And he would talk about Donald Trump all the time on his Twitter. I mean, the dude was, I don't think he believed anything that he believed in, but he, he saw an opportunity to fundraise money, which culminated into the most hilarious, but most upsetting thing that's ever happened. You know, when we talk about scams, like the MTG finance scam that the, uh, the group on Discord channel. That was a $10,000 scam. Okay. And that was for wealthy individuals. On this level, we're talking about half a million dollars. The guy went to the biggest event, the GP event, previous to that event that no one remembers. He actually went as a spe special guest to the Star City Game Con. And that went well. He didn't injure himself that event because he was preparing to injure himself at the Las Vegas event. He gets to the event and uh, there's a lot of circumstances and then now we can look in hindsight and this would be the first time he's going to meet his wife or his future wife and get engaged would be have dinner at dinner he injured himself so he didn't actually attend the gp event that he was paid to attend he had sponsors like tcg player who wrote him a check his sponsors like channel fireball that wrote him a check that was doing the event he created a GoFundMe that his, quote, his sister created for him the instant that he went down. A lot of people donated to his Patreon. A lot of people donated to his PayPal Direct, his Cash App. 
the dude made so much money from injuring himself. And he made it seem like it was the community's fault. The community wanted to see him so badly at GP Vegas that he pushed himself. That was the narrate, narration that he was trying to say was, you know, my doctor told me not to go, but I went to go because I love my fans. And the same fans that love him now donated a half a million dollars to him. This is Tolarian Community College's best friend. I cannot say this enough. They were best friends. They did everything together. They talked every day. They were best friends. I know this for a fact. And once he left, Tolarian did not whisper. Like, where did he go with the money? Where did he go with everyone's money? As soon as the GoFundMe, because GoFundMe has a verify, especially for six figure amounts, they gotta verify all this information that he actually was injured, that he had emergency bills and so on. And you know, GoFundMe standard is very low. I mean, Pico Trade was on GoFundMe, I think not once, but twice. So scams, GoFundMe, I think is 95% scams from what I can tell. So back to kind of where I am with this story. If your best friend is a known scammer and you don't call him out on it and he steals half a million dollars and legitimately leaves the country, never tweets, I mean, the guy was tweeting anti-Donald Trump tweets five, six times a day. You can look at his old Twitter. He did delete some of it, but a lot of it's still up. He was twitching. He was on Twitch all the time, right, with his, you know, soon-to-be wife. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, with no explanation, he, he just does not do it. He's gone. He took the community's money and he left. Never, nobody knows what has happened to this guy. It's been years. I would surmise that Tolarian Community College still keeps in contact with them because they were very close friends. But he has not called them out. He has not given any, there's been no updates on where this individual has gone with all this money and all these donations. The individual is still collecting money from Patreon as we speak. Kind of like the monthly magic box. The monthly magic box, they auto, they auto bill you. So if you're, if you, God forbid, gave them your PayPal, you're being audible. Because even, even a credit card has an expiration date, expiration day, but not a PayPal account, right? The same with Wedge. So I don't trust Tulane Community College because if he was trustworthy, he would have figured this out about Wedge and then he would have warned the community not to donate to this guy. The guy literally left the country and, I mean, he didn't even, even delete, he didn't even take the time to delete his social media because it's still giving him money on Patreon, I assume. And God forbid that you watch old content and you think that, oh, this guy's really cool, let me donate to him on Cash App or something. But this guy was horrendous for the community and no one will admit so. And because they got all deceived, it's kind of like a Pico Trade. No one can admit Pico Trade is a scam, even though it clearly is, because all, all the big content creators were paid tons of money to promote it. This is Tolarian's best friend for many, many years, half a decade. And he doesn't know what happened to the dude. And he takes no responsibility for the half million dollars missing. Give me a joke. It's such a joke. 